Hello. Oh my goodness. I'm so sleepy. So I decided to get up this morning and do something that I never do, which is go to Starbucks. I live in between two Starbucks, okay? There's one right, literally if I walk out the door, there's a grocery store and there's a Starbucks inside. And then right, quite literally, if I walk one block in that direction, there's another brand new huge Starbucks they just built, even though there's one right there. Um, I never go to Starbucks. I'm not a coffee drinker. Um, it's just not for me. And I had to look online to see what they had, what might sound okay. And I'll show you guys what I got. So first I'll start with the drinks. I It is, you know, the first few days of autumn and I love fall and I love pumpkin things, Halloween. I was born the day before Halloween. Um, pumpkin flavored stuff. I'm one of those people, you know, I'm not like super crazy where I need to get a uh, pumpkin spice everything, but I do enjoy the actual flavor when I do have it. Um, so I got the pumpkin cream cold brew. So it's just, it was basically cold brew coffee. And then they uh, made a foam out of whipped cream and like pumpkin flavoring. And they just put it on top along with some pumpkin spice. And I asked for caramel drizzle. So that's this. You can see the caramel kind of like dripping down. And that's what it looks like on the top. Yeah. And then I got something called the Violet Drink, and I have no idea what that is. I know it has coconut milk and blackberries. And uh, I saw her make it. She just kind of threw coconut milk and this blackberry stuff inside of a sh shaker and then added ice to it. So we'll see how that tastes. I enjoy blackberry and I enjoy coconut milk, so I don't see how I can be disgusted by it, you know. But I like that it has little fruit chunks. Okay, now for the warm stuff. I got four things. Um, I'll probably get full off of this. So I got... Oh man, they warmed it up. It smells so good. Pumpkin bread. You can see that. It's nice and orange. Has little pumpkin uh pumpkin seeds on top. Oh, that's really good. Pumpkin bread. It smells like cinnamon, nutmeg. It smells like very similar to pumpkin pie. A uh, cross between pumpkin pie and like banana bread. That's the aroma that you get. It's nice and soft and dense. Looks very moist and like not overcooked at all. Let's see. Uh, they gave me the wrong thing, but it's cool. I ordered a chocolate chip cookie. And this is a chocolate croissant, which I'm not mad at at all. I'm so glad they didn't mess up and give me something that I hate because chocolate croissants, I never used to like chocolate croissants. Um, I didn't like any croissant, croissants really. Anything super buttery um, would make me nauseous. So it wasn't like I didn't like the flavor. It was just uh, the aftermath. But this looks like your average everyday chocolate croissant. Pan au chocolat is what they called it in culinary school. And uh, feels fresh, slightly smaller than what you'd probably get anywhere else, um, especially like a donut shop or something like that. But looks appealing. All right, now. Wow, this is bigger than I thought. I got two breakfast sandwiches. This is the sausage, egg, and cheese muffin, English muffin. 
nice and warm. Look at that. That's crazy. I haven't had one of these in so long. And the last time I did it was from McDonald's. So, uh, and then last thing we got for you guys. I've never, uh, I didn't know they even had this. This is a chorizo egg sandwich. So chorizo egg and cheese. And if you don't know what chorizo is, it is a sausage. It's a type of sausage. I'm not sure where it derives from. I know it's a Spanish or Latin sausage, but oh my goodness, this bread has little specks of herbs. Mm, smell almost like a rosemary this chorizo looks nice and like that burnt orange roasted tomato color with egg and cheese i'm not sure what cheese this is on it it's a white cheese oh, smells so good man you guys what's that for this Set up for this thumbnail right here. It looks so good. Man, like, I feel like even the last time I went to Starbucks, they didn't have, like, great options like this. So that should tell you uh, the last time I've been to Starbucks. But um, this looks delicious. It smells, if you can smell it right now, it smells like just warm breakfast in the air. So... What should I start with first? I feel like I should start with the sandwich just to get that that savoriness. Well, first for first, actually, let me start with the coffee. So I'm going to start with this. Pumpkin foam cold brew. Give it a nice shake. You know, they don't have the straws anymore. I think you can ask for a straw, but... Mm, smells like pumpkin spice. <sighs> nice autumn morning. Mm. So it tastes how you would expect it to taste. You see all the foam on top? like a pumpkin spice latte. It's not really sweet at all. The only sweetness I'm actually getting is from the caramel itself. Got that nice light, nice in my opinion, because some people like the strong stuff, but it has a not too overpowering coffee flavor. And I don't claim to be a coffee drinker or an expert or anything like that. So for me, it's good. For you, it might be a little watered down. But it's not overwhelmingly bitter at all. You get the nice hints of the pumpkin spice in the cinnamon. It's refreshing for sure. Like I give that about a out of ten, maybe a seven. I would order it again if I just wanted a coffee. I would get this or maybe like a caramel macchiato, something simple. So let's try this chorizo sandwich. I think you can see that rosemary in there.
The egg is nice and fluffy too. Mm. Standard like fast food egg patty that you would find in any sandwich. Not very strong flavor. I can taste it, but it plays its role. The chorizo sausage itself has a nice little spice to it. I feel like a paprika. Uh, I feel like there's a little cumin, maybe some onion in it. Salty and juicy with a good like chew to it. Then this cheese, I believe it's like a Gouda cheese. I'm not sure exactly, but very mild flavor. You only get the creaminess from it. You don't really get a strong, like, sharp cheese flavor. But it just all the flavors together are in unison. And then the bread. It's like an artisan bread. It's chewy. Just enough chewiness, though. Um, tender when you bite through it. You don't have to, like, pull away from it. And then you get the nice herb flavor. It's a buttery Definitely there's a good amount of butter in this bread, but not overpowering. Nothing's overpowering any other ingredient. They just work together. Really good. I'm not lying. I wouldn't say it's a 10 out of 10 because 10 out of 10 is like something that I dream about, you know, something that I just wake up and I'm just like, I want that. But if you brought this to me, you're getting a hug for sure. So I would say this is a, a solid 8.75 out of 10. You hear that crispness. All right. That was good. That was good, man. Let's go with this chocolate croissant now. I did have them toast it. It's a little toasty on the bottom. You get that nice croissant sound to it. it smells nice and buttery mm. it's a dark chocolate but with a good amount of sweetness. You see the layers of the flakes. It's not warm to the touch, but when you bit into it, the chocolate is still warm and it just melts and coats your tongue. It goes great with the coffee. This is the perfect October grab and go breakfast while you go for a nice light walk, you know, with the leaves falling and you hear the crunch of the leaves under your shoes and you're just drinking your pumpkin spice latte, eating your chocolate croissant, listening to some nice light jazz music. That sounds like the perfect morning to me. The croissant is comparable to any other chocolate croissant out there. It's not, um, you know, it's not beating out the competition. It's They're all kind of here. Really good, consistent chocolate croissant, flaky flavor. Um, it's hard to find a bad, a bad one, really. So, 
you get a, a solid A, just like all the rest of them. All right, now, let's get to this. Sausage, egg, cheese, a nice golden egg muffin. Nice and toasted. You see the little cornmeal on the top. Very soft. I know it's a, because it's warm, uh, it has that nice tender feel to it. And that's right. So the bread, it's nice and soft, but it has that give, you know, that English muffin give to it. Almost like a little elasticity. But your bite's still kind of gently has to tug on the bread. So you can get that release in your mouth. The sausage patty is a good size. It's not too thin. With that classic um, breakfast sausage, Italian sausage flavor. That egg again is nice and thick. The same size as the sausage patty. Not overwhelming with flavor. And then you get the, the mild cheddar flavor that comes through. And kind of ties everything together. This, I gave it 8.75. Um, I will give this a 7.5. Very comparable to any other McDonald's sandwich. But, just, I feel like it's bigger and fresh. I feel like it's healthier, even though it, mm, it's probably the same or even worse than a McDonald's sandwich. But, it comes in this cute little packaging and it just makes me feel like a fancy Starbucks customer. Here we go. All of this together was $23.80 for two tall drinks and four big items. All right, now let's try this violet drink. Okay, it looks cool. See the ice, you see the berries inside. And then that nice violet color. Oh, shit. Smells like a popsicle. Smells like a... Or like a smoothie. Like a berry smoothie. I see the nice big chunks of blackberry in there. So. The flavor is not as strong as I was expecting it to be, which is great. Um, definitely not too sweet. I don't get a coconut flavor from the coconut milk. This tastes exactly like um, like yogurt, like a like a yogurt drink. So with real fruit in it, like a berry mixed berry flavored yogurt. Um, has that light creamy tanginess. And then also another tang of berry. So like an almost unripe berry. How they're kind of like tangy. That's what this is coming into. And then um, I would also compare this to like those 
the real fruit popsicles like a like a mixed berry or blackberry flavor very nice light fruit flavor that's what it just tastes like like yeah it's very floral as i talk and you know the aroma is kind of circulating in my mouth it don't it's almost like um like a chrysanthemum scent and aroma that i get it's very good very refreshing nice clean flavor all right let me get another bite of this chorizo and then we'll taste the last pumpkin bread mm. this is about i'd say a six and a half and anything at five and above I would order again, so just to put on a scale of what these numbers mean. All right, this pumpkin bread, man. It's nice and heavy. It's a good size for sure. Dense. Pumpkin on top, nice and thick. It's about an inch thick orange buttery scent you can smell the sweet butterness so it doesn't and it smells like banana bread i believe there's some nuts inside too hopefully pumpkin seeds i feel like i've had this before but it's just been so long so It's like the moistest cake. There are so many tiny little air pockets in this bread that just condense and collapse in your mouth. You don't even need to really chew it. You can just push your tongue against the roof of your mouth and it will just slowly, you know, compress and form a layer of soft pumpkin -y goodness over your tongue. It's great. The nice nutmeg flavors, cinnamon really just If you like pumpkin flavored things and you enjoy like loaves and muffins like that, this is just like basically a muffin, like a soft tender muffin turned into a loaf of pumpkin spice goodness it's sweet nice and sweet so a coffee like this really can bring it down and they can just dance together Don't ever get rid of that Starbucks, please.
I give this whole experience right here. A 8.25 out of 10. Because everything is super delicious, but forgettable, in my opinion. I live down in a downtown area, so and I always have my windows open when I'm home, so it's just busy all the time. you guys go because I'm not finishing this right now I'm gonna pop these in the fridge because the ice is already kind of melted anyway so I feel like they'll be fine and I feel like in probably 30 minutes I'll get hungry and eat the rest of this but it's good to go back and revisit, especially with, since you haven't been to, if you haven't been to a certain place for a long period of time. I was tired before I started eating and now I'm even more tired. But to go back and be able to eat at a place that the food is delicious, but you just don't think about it. And then it kind of reminds you why you like the place, but then you're going to forget again. It's nice to do that. So. This was fun. Starbucks, and it was so quick. I just walked down the street. Got it, walked back five minutes. Um, thank you for watching. Please subscribe to me. And um, check me out on Instagram at FugDunny or MMoistArt. I'll put the my names in the description below. And yeah, let's be friends. All right, talk to you soon. Blech.